Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024, Tuesday in the Octave of Easter. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who have bestowed on us Paschal Remedies, Endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that, possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from John chapter 20. Verses 11 through 18. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener, and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabone, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection In today's Gospel, we encounter Mary Magdalene in a moment of profound grief and transformation. Mary is a devoted follower of Jesus, and she finds herself enveloped in darkness and despair, as any of us would feel in the same situation. And just like Mary, we often seek Jesus in the last place that we left him, not realizing that he's not confined to the tombs of our own expectations. It is only when Jesus calls her by name that Mary recognizes him. And this personal call breaks through her sorrow. And in that single word, Mary, there is an infinite tenderness and an invitation to a deeper understanding and relationship with the risen Christ. This moment of recognition is a powerful reminder of the personal nature of our relationship with Jesus. He calls each of us by name and invites us into a relationship that is both alive and dynamic. And Mary Magdalene's encounter with the risen Christ is the ultimate testament to this truth. Her inability to recognize Jesus reminds us that our understanding and intimacy with God can be elusive. Often, it can be hidden beneath the many layers that we place between ourselves and our God. But Jesus breaks through these barriers, doesn't he, with the simplest of gestures. He calls her by name. This personal call is at the heart of the Christian experience. It's a call to each of us. And it invites us to recognize Jesus in the unexpected places and the unexpected moments of our lives. It reminds us that our faith is not a set of doctrines, but it is in a person who knows and loves us intimately. Jesus also entrusts Mary with a mission. He says, Go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary becomes the Apostle to the Apostles to be the first witness to proclaim the resurrection. Now let's just stop here for a moment and remember where Mary's story began. She was a prostitute possessed by an evil spirit 
And now she is the one who will tell the apostles of Jesus that he is risen, and Jesus chooses her for this task. This story has so many levels, but one that I want to point out is that no soul is ever lost to our Lord. Whatever pain you may be feeling, however you feel you may have failed in life, God is always there to bring you out of the darkness and into his divine plan if you only allow him. Mary's commission to inform the apostles underscores the vital role of every believer in the mission of the church. We are called to bear witness to the resurrection, to share the joyous news that Jesus is alive and that through him we are brought into a new relationship with our God. And so as we reflect on this gospel, let's listen for the call of Jesus in our lives. May we recognize him in the unexpected places, hear him call our names, and respond with joy and readiness to the mission that he entrusts to each one of us. And so today, let's pray that like Mary Magdalene, we will proclaim with our lives the reality of the resurrection and the hope that it brings to our world. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.